Hey there, Jackie. It's so great to reconnect with you. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Thank you thank for taking some time. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Good to yeah. see you too. Awesome. So um, just for everyone's um, purposes, uh, Jackie was a past participant in my Health Coaching Essentials course and um, is an amazing coach. <laughs> I can attest to that from all the great <laughs> practice that I got to listen into and um, has coaching practice. And so I really am going to turn it over to her first to maybe do a little introduction, tell folks maybe where you're calling in from and tell us a little bit about where your coaching practice is right now. Sure. Um, so I am in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I got, I finished my health coaching program in January. So all pretty new. Um, I do health and life coaching as well as um, personal training kind of just in the local community. Um, so it's relatively new. Um, right now I've got two um, paying health coaching clients and then a few more personal training clients. But yeah, so it's, it's in the early stages, but, you know, growing and um, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when, like, think back to sort of before you went through my course, um, what were some of the challenges and struggles? Because I know you had some clients then. I know you had your, you know, personal training clients. Were there key things that, you know, you were challenged by or struggling with or just worried about? Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, so I did a six-month online coaching program, and it was it was great. Um, I had tons of information, you know, I had plenty of scripts to follow and things like that. Um, but I just wasn't feeling confident in that ability to really like connect with people, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, you know, coaching should be, I knew like it should be personalized and, and customized to each person. And so it just was this like feeling a little bit almost hypocritical of like, how could I use this one program with everybody, you know? Right. Um, so I was just kind of feeling confused about it and, mm -hmm. you know, just a little unsure of my, um, of my skills. You know, we had, we yeah. had some labs and things like that, but I just wasn't feeling super confident at that time. Yeah. You know, I'd had a couple practice clients and stuff, but was still, mm -hmm. Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like in the training program that you did, it was kind of like a standard kind of set one program that you would deliver to everyone. Is that right? Yeah. A 12 yeah. week. Yeah. So each okay. week you'd have a, a kind of a topic to go yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of kind of educating and like sort of teaching people health topics. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. So this week, you know, let's talk about this, even if that was not really what they needed. And so that's where I was kind of struggling. Like, well, yeah. you know, if this week we're talking about, you know, nutrition, well, they may already have that down. Like yeah. that might not be their problem area. So yeah. that was kind of a struggle for me. Like, mm. And it sounds like you were feeling, you know, yeah, I want to customize this and I want it to be more personal to whatever their needs are, but you still had this kind of step-by-step -step program right. to follow yeah. <clears throat> to deliver. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So just awesome. something wasn't sitting right. It was like, yeah. oh, this isn't yeah. exactly how it should be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. And I, I think a lot of new coaches feel that way, you know, depending on what training you did, you know, some people are just given like a bunch of resources and try to piece it all together. Others kind of do give you like an educational, what I like to call just like a, a health education program, right. Versus a health coaching program <laughs> to deliver. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd like to hear just a little bit about how you ended up finding me and um, what inspired you to jump into health coaching essentially. Yeah. Um, so I think kind of just around that time, not feeling confident, I was turning to YouTube really to just like mm. find examples of, of what good coaching looked like. So I was yeah. just typing in, you know, demo health coaching session and just trying to get my eyes and ears on as much as I could. And I came across some of your videos um, and they were just so valuable. I was like, how is she even, how is she just giving this away? <laughs> you know, um, there were ones, uh, I remember one in particular about limiting beliefs. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, this is it. This is what coaching mm. And so I just, you know, went to your website and just kind of started listening and watching. And then I think I got an email about your essentials course. And it was just like, oh, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I oh, need. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. So um, as you went through the course, I'd love to hear just, you know, any thoughts that you have about your experience with the course, like highlights, what were some of the key things for you? Yeah. Um, 
I loved that it was just a very like intimate program, you know, mm. was not, it was not a number, you know, one out of 300, like it just felt right. so personalized. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I still have a relationship with you now is like a testament yeah. <laughs> to just, you know, your like commitment to each person that's in the program. Um, I loved the, um, you know, just meeting for those labs. And I mean, I think especially just getting your feedback, like in real mm. time. Like to have somebody, an expert like you listening to those coaching sessions and, and being able to tell me like, you did this well, I, I think you could work on this. And you do it in such a nice, like <laughs> constructive way that still leaves you feeling like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> I'm not going to give up, you know? Um, so that was, I mean, that was just the best, like for a, a new coach that's feeling a little unsure to have your, you know, expertise and that made a huge difference in my confidence mm -hmm. and, and my skills, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's so great to hear. And, um, you know, I do think that that's really kind of what sets this course apart. You know, number one, that it is a really small, you know, group, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how many people sign up and how many people are in each lab, depending on the times and things, um, that it is that intimate group, right? You're not just one of, like you said, 300 or a thousand people, you know, in right. some of these group coaching programs. And yeah, the fact that I am there with you every week, you know, um, I am getting a lot of questions about that, you know, how much time do students actually get with me in the course. And, you know, when I kind of tally it up, like we've got nine weeks of skills labs, you know, they're somewhere between an hour and two each time, depending on how many people are there. So that could really be a total of like 18 hours with me right. <laughs> over the course of the nine right. weeks. So, you know, it is very time intensive. And that's why I keep, you know, those groups to be small, you know, because I just can't, I just don't have enough hours in the day to, to right. coach more, more students than that. And I love that part of it. I mean, you know, just the friendships that are developed, you know, between you and the other students in the program. And yeah, to just be able to really sink into the process and give each other feedback and talk about it all. I, I just love that part of the course. And, and I do think it's different, like I said, than, you know, what a, a lot of other courses are offering. Yes, 100%. Yeah. And, and yeah, and not only do you get that time with you each week, and then you have your, your buddy coaching. So that's yes. just like an extension. And, yeah. and like you said, yeah, I made, you know, hopefully a, a lifelong friend in the process. Yeah. And we're yeah. now able to bounce ideas off each other and, and practice things. So I mean, mm. that's just a, the icing on the cake, you know. Exactly. A little bonus, top. right? To have right. that, you know, buddy <laughs> coach. Because um, talking to somebody earlier and we were talking about that, that, you know, I mean, health coaching is a bit of an odd industry, right? There's, well, I mean, there are a lot of us out there, but, you know, not everyone gets this work. We're doing it from home or, you know usually solopreneurs, right? So to have that person who's kind of in your corner, who gets it, who, you know, just can be that like accountability buddy for you, brainstorm person, just to run ideas by and just that sanity check of, you know, <laughs> how are things going with you, you know? And, and right. I, because I, I had those throughout, you know, folks who I even met through my training, um, who I stayed in touch with, just really, really valuable, those connections for sure. Yeah. Oh, that extra awesome. boost when you start doubting yourself too. They're there to yes. say like, no, you, you got this. Yeah. You can do this. Yeah. Yeah. We all need those cheerleaders, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> even us, our health coaches, right? We should yeah. be able to do it ourselves, but no, even we do. <laughs> exactly. We need coaches too. Absolutely. Right. We're, yeah. we're human. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when you think about kind of going through the process and what you learned through the course, I, I mean, I know you mentioned you do have some clients now and you were working with clients as we were going through, were you able to sort of implement, you know, what we learned and what are you noticing in your coaching now? Yeah. Well, I mean, the one thing I think that I got from you, the just the framework, you know, it's the outline, it's not a script, but it's just that framework so that I can you know, interject what needs to be talked about each week and things like mm -hmm. that. So instead of that, like 12 week, every week, I'm going to talk about this. It's really that coach approach that you talk about and it's client driven. And, yeah. you know, I'm just the, you know, kind of the co-captain as we kind of talk about it, like, but they, they're the authority. And so really, I think with these last two clients I've had, it's just been such a 180 from before, like, you know, I check in with them the night before we have a session. You know, what what obstacles are you facing? Is there a particular topic you want to talk about that would be helpful? And so that drives the next session, not, mm -hmm. oh, it's week three. So we're going to talk about, you know, sleep habits. Well, right. they might not need that, you know. Yeah. Um, so I really noticed that and just um, letting things go where they need to go, you know, which mm -hmm. kind of goes with what I was saying, but like yeah. with what they need. So it is mm -hmm. that customized, individualized 
you know, approach. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So it really sounds like, you know, what I'm hearing is just like this more flow, right. And more, more client led and client centered, which is, you know, our approach as, as coaches and less directive, less you teaching, less kind of right. having to show up as the expert, but really, you know, asking them, what do they need to focus on? What are, you know, because yeah, what they hired you for and what they're dealing with in week four might be, you know, two totally different things, right? right? So we're able to just be there more flexible in the moment with what they need, which which I think is really, really valuable, right? Right, as they're going through the process. And I have two totally different clients right now. I've got one okay. who's more my age, mom, three kids. And then I have a six-year-old near retirement, you know, grandkids. And, mm. but it's made me realize that it doesn't really matter what, there's no, the program, because as long as they're leading it and I'm right. just asking the questions, then it doesn't matter who the person is, what their mm. obstacles are, like, yeah. I, I can still coach them, you know? Yeah. So that's really amazing. And I think a key thing that, yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? Right. <laughs> like the niche or the topic. I mean, yes, that's important as we market ourselves as coaches, but when it comes to the actual coaching, what I'm hearing you say is that, you know, yeah, it doesn't matter if all your clients might have different issues or challenges or obstacles that they're trying to overcome because you're using this, you know, behavioral change framework to guide them through whatever they need to change in their life, whatever they want to achieve. Yeah. Right. And it may awesome. be totally different once we get into our sessions, totally different yes. than what they came with. Right. Like we uncover, yeah. oh, it's really not about losing 10 pounds. It's like yeah. something way deeper, you know? Exactly. So yeah. that's just Which, been so powerful to Right. Like it feels more meaningful, right? It feels like this is really getting into something that's, you know, impactful for this person's life, you know, kind of digging into their vision and their why and those kinds of things. Yeah. And how has, you know, I was thinking about how has that shifted, like in terms of, you know, maybe how you market yourself or even getting on a discovery call, you know, like thinking maybe the way you did that before and how you felt um, to now, has that shifted? Yeah, I think I just, um, I'm more confident. So there's less, I just feel less pressure. And I just yeah. feel like if I explain myself, well, I think I do a lot better job also on discovery calls, explaining what the process looks like. So they have an idea like, right, I'm not the expert on every topic. So mm. I'm not going to come every week telling you about X, Y, Z, like yeah. giving them that, that just this is what the experience is going to be like. You're going to be coming with ideas and I'm going to help you kind of process and go through those. Um, that has helped a lot to create those expectations so that people yeah. know what's, mm -hmm. it just doesn't set them up for disappointment or right. just something that they weren't thinking they were going to be getting. So that's, exactly. I've noticed that in these last two clients, that's been a tremendous shift. Yeah. yeah. So that does help, right? When we're able to explain it and when we believe in it and we understand it, <laughs> you know, the process of, of what that coaching program is going to look like. Again, no set topics, but as you said, it's the framework and the flow and really is that process that we're taking them through versus um, just a variety of, you know, educational pieces. And yeah, so I'm so glad that that's been helpful on that because I think, you know, I talk a lot about the fact that, you know, your confidence on those discovery calls really shifts your energy, right? When you believe in the process that you're going to take them through, when you aren't worried about being a fraud or an imposter, or not being the expert and having to know it all, right? Which are the things that I hear from a lot of new health coaches. And that's why they don't do well in those discovery calls. And they don't convert the clients because they don't really believe in it, right? And so I'm hearing you say like, there's a lot of pressure released, right? There's this relief. And, and now, this new process that you can believe in, right? Right. And kind of just use as your foundation. Right. Yeah. yeah. So not only like, yeah, the discovery calls, that whole has kind of shifted, but also like the onboarding process that you kind of mm. take us through and those foundation yeah. sessions, that's been big with these last two, like yeah. looking at their strengths and weaknesses to get started mm. and not just jumping, you know, jumping right in week one, like what, let's write those goals down. What are we going to do? Make sure we have it done by next week. Like, yeah, there's a lot that has to kind of that foundation has to be laid before you can build. So that yeah, was a really big part of the program that helped me. Yeah. And I mean, that's part of the behavioral change process, right? Like we know from the stages of change that if on that first session, you just, you know, 
jump people into all these action steps and all these goals are probably going to get overwhelmed, right? So we do have to ease them into a little bit and doing that pre-work, setting that foundation with those foundation sessions, I think is really, really valuable. And I think what a lot of coaches kind of miss, right? And, and trainings don't teach. It is just, okay, here's some information, jump right in. Let's start with, you know, how many times are you going to get to the gym and how many greens are you right. going to eat? And, you know, right. those kinds of things. But we really do want to, you know, allow our clients to do a little bit of that self-exploration and self-discovery so we can help set them up for success, right? That's why we're, we're laying that foundation so that they have some of those strengths and tools and connect to their values and their vision so they know where they're going, right? And, and a little bit of, of how they're going to get there, right? What they can draw on throughout the process. So I'm so glad that, yeah, just even those foundation sessions and adding those into your process has been helpful. That's awesome. Yeah. Really, yeah. So is there anything else kind of like in terms of biggest learnings or takeaways or shifts that you had from the course? Um, I think just like the kind of like I can do this, you know, I think you just yeah. gave me that like extra belief in myself, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. somebody has to believe in you first before you believe in yourself, yeah. you know, and yeah. I, I feel like you and the other ladies in the group, like helped with that so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for that. So glad I Aww. came across you on the YouTube <laughs> list. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Thank you. And I mean, I want to say like you showed up, you did the work, you were there, you were prepared, um, you know, and so I can't do that for you, right? Just like with our clients, right? We can't do the work for them. They have to do the work. You showed up, you did the work, you implemented everything. And it was so great that you, you know, had clients right away. And, and now you've got these two to really be able to use the process and see how it can be different from maybe, you know, what you were doing before or those worries that you had about coaching from before, right? Yeah. Now I just want to go back to those old ones and be like, can we start over? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right? I have something new and, new and better for yeah, you. Yeah, new back. and improved. Yeah. Oh. Right. <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, yeah, right. when they they might, you know, still be following you and in your community and, and seeing that you're up to something new and, and be intrigued for sure. Yeah, that would be so cool. So anything else that, that you'd like to add just about your experience? Um, I mean, it just was the best money I've invested in myself and my coaching yet, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I've done a number of programs and things. And it's, I would just say to anybody who's kind of on the fence or looking at this, like it was a hundred percent worth it. And I would mm -hmm. do it again in a heartbeat. And who knows, maybe I'll do it again in a year <laughs> just to refresh myself. And, you know, I just, I think everybody yeah. could benefit, benefit from it, no matter what training course you did. I don't think anybody, any of the training courses do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yay. I'm just so excited and <laughs> just so excited for you and these new clients and, you know, your future as a coach, because, you know, you're just such a genuine, caring, warm, you know, mom and, you know, coach that I know anyone who gets an opportunity to work with you is really going to benefit. So Thank you, thank Jackie, you so, much. so much, just for all your kind words and um, for everything that you contributed to the course. Because um, like I always say, I always learn so much when, <laughs> you know, folks show up and do the work and makes my job that much easier. So it was just a pleasure. And thank you for your time today. I so thank appreciate you, Michelle. it. All right. Uh, continue to do great work. And uh, thanks so much, Jackie. Take good care. All right. Bye.